So you've decided you want to mod Minecraft. Where do you begin and how do you make sure nothing goes wrong? Today we're going to install Forge onto a copy of Minecraft, separate our Forge profile into its own directory so we don't mess up our vanilla worlds, and then make each mod pack we want to create or install save in a separate directory with its own private world list. Sound tricky? Well we're going to do it in just five simple steps. Step number one, download the Forge installer. After you've decided which version of Minecraft you'll be modding, go to files.minecraftforge.net. Download the installer for the recommended version of Forge for that version of Minecraft listed under Minecraft. In this case, I want to mod version 1.7.10. It will take you through an AdFly advert. Make sure you click the Skip Ad button at the top right of the screen to download the installer, not the ad in the middle of the screen. Step number two, use the installer to install a Forge profile. Now the Forge installer is very good at its job and makes installation painless on multiple operating systems. However, it is very particular about one thing. In order for the installer to run correctly, you must have already downloaded a copy of that version of Minecraft, in this case 1.7.10. If you haven't played this version from the launcher at least once, you'll see an error. In order to fix this, simply open up the launcher and either edit your main profile or create a new one. Set it to use the version of Minecraft that you want to mod and click play to download it. The installer should work fine after that. Step 3, we're going to create a base profile. What this means is that we want to create a profile in the launcher which we can use to simplify separating our mod packs into separate directories. So we can have separate mod packs with separate worlds without any special launchers or anything. Select the Forge profile in the Minecraft launcher and click edit. Then tick the box next to game directory. After slash Minecraft type slash mod packs and then add another directory slash forge beneath it as shown on screen. Now we can click new profile while the forge profile is highlighted and it will copy the settings from the forge profile when creating your new profile. Name your new profile. In this case I'm preparing to do a mod spotlight for Botania and assign it a new subdirectory under mod packs which is easy to recognize. If you plan to have multiple installations of Forge for different versions of Minecraft, you may want to rename your base Forge profile as well to reflect which version it uses. Before we go any further, select your blank mod packs profile and load the game so that Forge Mod Loader, or FML, can generate the mods directory in your mod packs folder. Step number four find and download your mods. If you're looking for mods to download, a great community manager resource is the MCF Mod List at modlist.mcf.li. It has a massive and up-to-date list of mods for Minecraft, which you can look at by version. You can scroll through and browse the list, but I prefer to just search for what I'm looking for. In this case, I want not enough items so I can show recipes during my mod review, and of course the most current version of Botania, the mod I want to review. Be careful, many mods have dependencies, which means they require another mod in order to function properly. Both of these mods have dependencies. NEI is dependent on Code Chicken Core, a core library of code reused by NEI developer Chicken Bones, and Botania is dependent on Bobbles, a small mod which Vasky selected to add to her mod, which adds a few extra equipment slots to the player to expand mod creator's possibilities. Make sure you download any required dependencies for your mods too before you move on to the final step because they won't work properly without them and your Minecraft will probably just crash. Step number five, finally, copy your mods into the mods folder of your mod packs directory. In this example, .minecraft slash mod packs slash botania. If you're using many mods at once, it may be necessary to change the configuration files to eliminate conflicts. This guide is not to teach you how to resolve item ID conflicts or any such, that is beyond the scope of this guide. However, if everything's gone well, at this point you should be able to open up Minecraft and test to make sure the mods you've installed are working.
If you want to start a new separate mod pack and make sure the worlds are saved separately and the mods can be adjusted for each individual mod pack individually, simply start again at step three, well, the latter half of step three, if you're using the same version of Minecraft anyway, or back at step one if you're installing Forge for another version of Minecraft. If you've renamed your Forge profile, as I did in this video, the new Forge profile will be installed as Forge, and your current Forge profile will stay there, uh, named Forge 1.7.10 in this example, for you to copy. All you have to do is copy the Forge profile for the appropriate version of Minecraft, and save the new mod pack profile to a different directory, and you can make as many mod packs on as many versions of Minecraft as you wish and they'll never interact or corrupt each other as long as you make sure that they're saved to separate directories. So, is there anything I missed? If this guide hasn't given you the answer you're looking for, leave a comment down below, and maybe you can help make the next version of this guide even better. Please leave a like if this video has helped you, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Anyway, if you have questions, or comments, concerns, anything else like that, you can just dial 1-800-POST-IT-IN-THE-COMMENTS. That's 1-800-POST-IT-IN-THE-COMMENTS section. See you next time.